Having eaten your food. Liam having fun. Wow. Gone. Star Trek. Star Trek. Oh, that's what there'll be whales in here, Captain. Yeah. Bam Bam is usually up on top of here. Hey, oh, there's Baby. Baby wants in. Yeah, Baby said I want in. Where is Bam Bam? Oh, there you are, Bam Bam. This is where we put the trash cans so we can just come up and put the regular trash in there and recycling in there. And if one gets full and the other, then we, we switch over. And then me and William, late at night or the next day, open up the gate, make sure make sure Bam Bam's inside the house so you don't escape. We, you and Chris had a hard time catching them the other day. The one we went to go in the corral. Yeah, we gave you a workout. They blocked you over on that corner of a house. Luckily, there, there was only one way in and no one way out. Chris held the other end, I held the other end. And William chased you and tried to sit on home base. He got his shirt dirty, had to come home and change it, but eventually we wore you out to, even Chris wore you out, hold on to you. And then you took off again, and then all of a sudden, William got you again, and then Chris uh, calmed you, and then William picked you up, and I said, I could pick him up. So William carried him all the way, and John was coming around the corner, we thought he done left. But he just come around the corner to see what's taking us long to catch that dog. Cheryl said, like I said, he needs to go out and he lives a good go out in a in a, in a, in a, in a a yard to run free and all. He's he he could be a sheep dog, or better yet, I could call the police and I bet he could be a good uh, d drug dealer dog, sniff out drugs. I mean, he can jump up high up on top of that freezer. We all recognize that. And on top of that table and on top of that table first, and that, then he did that one. Then he jumped that one. Because the Bobby's like, oh my goodness. How did Bambi get up there? You didn't know that, Cheryl said? No, what? He can jump up there. He can jump up that. Yeah, he's like super dog, underdog, or dog grip dog. Boink! He's a smart dog. He's real clever. He's part fox, part deer. Part, yeah, part fox, part... part Fox runs fast. Part deer can jump high. Oh, I forgot. This is when I'm broad daylight here. And he's eating everything in sight, including golf balls and frisbees he digs up and bones and everything else. that gets closed. There's a Ray and her brother and some friends were over there all the time like to see me do magic when I go over there and entertain doing D light, rubber band, just the same stuff I do on the internet. They really enjoy it. Said, well you're really good Bill. He's really good at it. And then he said, Yeah my brother saw the D V D that you made us. He said, yeah, it was good, thanks. I said, you're welcome. Yeah. Yeah, I'll tag your it. Tag your it. Here, go fetch. Fetch, that man. Fetch. Go get it. Do -do -do -do. Man, that was a good high jump. Rrr, 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 rrr. Go fetch. Bam, bam. Go get it. Go get it. <laughs> He's around there already. He's trying to wait up. He's waiting on me to come around the corner. See, there he is. I knew it. He's like, I'm waiting on you. I'm not going around the corner. Well, actually, I thought he was going to go around the corner because normally he does. He's like, uh-uh. 
Last time Bill tricked me, he went the other way. Yeah, see those golf balls he dug up? Yeah. Somewhere he dug up another one over here. And the socks we don't need, we tie him in a sock and a knot, and he gets to play tug of war with him. Tug of war time. Tug of war. Bam bam having tug of war time. That's another thing. So he'd be a good catch and a bad guy because Cheryl said he could he's good at shredding things up. And he would shred their clothes up for him to give up. Yeah. You'd be a good canine dog. Yeah, bam bam. <laughs> you had your ducky right there. You were inside that fireplace. I was like, what are you in there? And I went to go and you took off with your ducky. But you, your ducky you had the longest top of all. The kids over there, Desiree and all them over there, and they go, where's her ca his camel thing? Oh, he done destroyed that. It's like when they say it's doggy proof, it's not do doggy proof because they ain't come across a bam bam, it's not bam bam proof, and they all laugh. Yep, yeah, because there's a lot of things that we got them, it's supposed to be doggy proof, but, it, but it's not bam bam proof. They've got a kick out of that, they're laughing. Wow, look at all that ice cream we only ate. Midnight snacking. Midnight runs. I do midnight runs too, but I don't eat a whole gallon of ice cream. Yeah. Uh -huh. Fetch. Uh -huh. You're a pretty dog. Baby's pretty darn too. You can't go and come with me Monday. Yesterday you got in a box when you saw all the books and stuff. You can't come with me, Magic. I'm sorry. You got to stay here. You can't go with uh, with me to the stories. Right, you, I think she got the point. Hopefully, you got to learn to stay here, Magic. I'm sorry. You got learned. You got you got used to them when I was gone. Although when I was came back, you were glad to see me. Yeah, you know I'm going to leave. You can tell already. I know. You're like, something's up. See, animals know. And baby knows, too. Look. She's looking sad. Yeah, baby's sad. And, magic, and Bam Bam would look like something's up, too. Yeah, animals know. They know when something's up. They're not dumb. Everything's being re rearranged and boxes being put stuff in. See? Now the magic wants to go. Says, well, I'll just go in this box. When he, You're going to try to sneak, sneak on board, aren't you? This is not Spider when Chim Chim wants to be a racer cartoon show. No, no. You're not going to do that. You're not going to sneak aboard in the trunk, so to speak. Yeah, you claimed that box, but we're going to be using that box. You think you're gone. You, you look at all these boxes and you think, I'm going with you. I know it's you up to some matter, but sorry. Sure, already, already told me that. You know, you can't take magic. I know. I went and Tommy mentioned it too. You know, you can't bring the cat. You can't bring magic kitty cat. I know. You can't bring your cat magic. That's how he said it. Or he might say, you know, you can't bring your cat. It was something like that. And I said, yeah, I know. She already had to, my sister should already had the conversation. You're going to have to get used to them feeding you. Which they did when I was visiting the stories. When I had a 